Good morning. Autism is now the fastest growing and most commonly diagnosed neuro neurological disorder in Canada. One in 68 children are currently diagnosed with autism, shedding light on the misconceptions of the disorder. We have a doctor with us this morning from Bloor Hall and Bloor Research Center. I'm going to get you to say your name because <laughs> yeah, we were practicing this and yeah. I'm Evdeki Anagnostu. And um, you have been researching with, uh, with autism for so long and as well we have a parent with us this morning too which is Sharon uh, Gavison and your son Eric. Yes. Is going to be just... He's going to be turning 20 next month. Okay so first off let's just talk about what is autism? So autism spectrum disorder is a neurodevelopmental difference and by that we mean the brain develops slightly different and with that comes some strengths and some weaknesses. The weaknesses that typically people used to diagnose autism have to do with social interactions. So these kids have some difficulty making friends, having typical relationships, uh, understanding people's emotions, understanding what other people are thinking. They may also have some repetitive behaviors, so they may do the same thing over and over again. They may have interests that take over their life, things like dinosaurs and certain themes on TV and video games and those kinds of stuff. It also comes with strengths, so they are very good at details, they are very reliable and they tend to follow rules. Um, they um, see the world in a slightly different way, right? So they, they look at our world from outside the box. Your research right now, how is it helping uh, parents and children with uh, autism? So research um, in the last few years has exploded in autism for a variety of reasons. The first thing is we're starting to understand the biology of autism spectrum disorder. So we understand how our genes affect our brains and how our brains and affect our behavior and our thinking skills. So we're starting to understand what it is that it is autism, right? And then there is a huge amount of research that's happening to try to change some of the processes that we see in autism that, have, that produce dysfunction and distress. So we're not trying to change autism. Mm -hmm. What we're trying to do is decrease um, dysfunction and distress. Um, and so you'll see research in new treatments. You'll see research in very early diagnosis and intervention. So can we get in there when we have the first red flags before we even have the autism diagnosis and change the trajectory in a way that decreases distress and dysfunction. Mm -hmm. You'll also see research in the use of technology and how that can be incorporated in making people's life easier. And hopefully you see new emerging research on how people with autism transition into adulthood, how they get integrated into work environments, um, how they actually have meaningful long-term outcomes. And Sharon, your son's going to be transitioning into adulthood right now. What was it like having an autistic child going through and uh, what are some people, what's something you could say to people that have no idea? Um, I think that we really need to view individuals with autism based on their strengths and not necessarily their weaknesses. Um, and as Dr. Um, Abdokia was mentioning, um, individuals with autism have specific strengths. And for example, I mean, obviously, the di having a diagnostic, sort of having the diagnosis of a child with autism can be quite devastating. But with that comes a lot of things that parents um, really learn to appreciate. You know, when your child says their first word, um, when they start socially interacting and then as your child grows and learning sort of sort of the unique features and special gifts that they have and for example my son is the most like incredible um, pure human being that you'll ever see and ever meet um, he's just absolutely amazing and you know what you see is what you get um, and, they're, and they're people at yeah, the end of the day yeah. they're just really people and we yeah. got to make sure that we're inclusive to all people we could talk a lot more about autism but unfortunately we're out of time right now but I want more people to become aware uh, of about autism maybe do a little bit of research and get to know somebody or a parent that right now has a child with autism. Autism Day is Sunday, April the 2nd. For more information, go to one of the greatest hospitals I know, which is hallandbloorville.ca. Let's take a break right now. Let's go out one.